So Caleb Williams had his preseason debut and did a pretty good job. But of course, everybody is out there going to the extreme, saying he's going to be the next great quarterback. And that very, very well may be the case. But I think we do need to take a step back. But in this video, we're going to break down some of the key plays he had against the Buffalo Bills in his preseason debut. So in this first play here, very basic, you're getting three deep curls down the field with two check down routes from the backs from the backfield. You'll be able to tell from the end zone copy, but Caleb Williams is really trying to push this ball to Keenan Allen in the middle of the field, but it is covered, but he does not panic, steps up, keep his feet active, works back to the left, and he drives a really good ball to, I believe that was DJ Moore on this play. So see it from the end zone copy here. Like say, three curls down the field. He's staring down Keenan Allen, not there. The big thing to me here doesn't really panic. A, the Chicago Bears are doing a really good job in their pass protection here. Caleb Williams kept his feet activated, constantly moving to where he has a good base. Starts to work to the left. He's able to see DJ Moore. He's got a good base under him. Steps through, rips this ball straight there to him. There's no hesitation in that pass. No air underneath. And it was a really good football. So Caleb Williams in this game threw four for seven for like 93 yards, a 101 quarterback rating, had some scramble yards. I think he had 20 yards rushing. Those stats are really nice, but you're going to see the bulk of his yards came on this play right here. While it's a really good heads up play, it's still like you get the bulk of your yards from the screen. So the statistics really doesn't say everything. This is a nice, well-designed running back shovel screen to the left. You're going to get the tight end and the split end over here, just running crosser routes across the field to pull any sort of defenders, whether they be in man coverage or just influence them with zone, just to be able to release the lineman here. The tight end and the wide receiver down the field working across is really putting the defensive players in a bad position. As you can see, the left tackle and the left guard is out and getting ready to get in their run blocking fits for this screen. Really good job by Caleb Williams not getting too discombobulated with any sort of pressure. Steps up, just flicks the ball to his running back. And this is a really great, well-designed play. And it goes for a huge, explosive play. And it shows that, you know, Caleb Williams has, you know, that stat sheet just kind of racks up with 4-7 for 92 yards when, of course, when you watch it, now this is a play that he gets about 40 yards passing on. Still a great play, but that can kind of change if you just read the stat sheet. You're like, oh, okay, I see that. Of course, in the preseason, you're going to be pretty vanilla. You're just kind of going with the base of your offense. You don't want to show too much, but when you do have a rookie quarterback, you're probably going to do a little bit more. You want to try to get him comfortable, get him really understanding the core of your offense right here. And they already showed that they've used him in multiple different ways. Right here, they've got him straight under center, and they're going to go with a jet motion boot play action fake. And this is really great. It gets him involved to be able to use his leg. And that, of course, was always a huge pro for his game at the college level. Fake jet, get really good depth. And then you've just got a nice, easy flat route to the receiver right there. Doesn't pick up a whole lot, but this is really good here, of course. When they start to jump these flat routes, Caleb Williams is going to be able to take shots down the field. But also, once you get him out in space like this... He's really got a lot of options here, of course. He just checks it down here. Hey, take the easy one. Take what the defense gives you. He could just wait for a little bit longer, see if this backside drag really comes open, if that that secondary defender wants to jump on the flat. But also, he could turn this guy into a lead blocker, utilize his legs, and go, go, go. It really gives a player like Caleb Williams, of course, a lot more options rather than just sitting in the pocket, and it makes things a lot easier and more dynamic for the offense. Real quick, guys, it is football season. We are back in the swing of things, and you're going to start seeing a lot more film breakdowns on this channel. So if you haven't yet, hit that like button just to support this video and subscribe. Join the team. Join the family. We're trying to grind our way to 10K. I'm a high school football coach, and I love being able to break down film studies for not only you guys, but for me as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and join the team. 
So on this one right here, it's another boot play action from under center. They don't do it off a jet motion. They're just faking outside zone. But now on this one, you're going to see a little bit more patience from Caleb Williams. And he absolutely rips a dart down the field. And this is very promising. Fake outside zone. Roll out here. That pump fake right there by Caleb Williams doesn't seem like a whole lot, but to me, it tells me that he's comfortable in, in his skill set and what he's doing and that, you know, he feels comfortable being able to pump fake and just try to make a defender second guess and just create a little bit of space for his receivers down the field. He could have took the flat right now. It's kind of guarded, but he could have took positive yardage. But he feels good with his legs and being able to extend a play to see if a secondary route comes open down the field. And it does with the tight end. And he rips one right down. Perfect throw to the tight end. The tight end's right here on the right side. He's just going to press this thing vertical and run a deep corner route. And right here, this is wide open in the NFL. So, of course, Caleb Williams has to hit him. But there's plenty of quarterbacks in the NFL that either will not hit him in stride or put this ball behind his receiver and allow a defender to get uh, back into play and be able to disrupt this. But Caleb Williams, even with pressure on his inside hip, is able to rope this down the field on target while fading away to the right. It's a little bit behind. Those are things where if he could have let them, then it just it saves his receiver from taking another shot, but still a really good throw nonetheless. So on this next one here, we're going to see the legs part of his game. Of course, he, he does have that X factor. That's what made him part of being the number one overall pick is that he can be able to make plays when they're not there. While that's being said, you can still tell at college, the University of Southern California, he wanted to stand in the pocket and look downfield and make those throws, which are all great things. Defenses are going to have to be careful when game planning for a Caleb Williams. Right here, they're doing some vertical route concepts down the field, and Buffalo finds themselves in a cover two man. The bad thing about cover two man or any sort of man like that is that as these receivers start to work downfield, defenders are turning their back to the quarterback. And if you send pressure, you got to hope it gets home because if it doesn't and a quarterback is able to step up and alleviate and maneuver around that pressure, He's going to find himself stepping up in open grass, and he's going to be able to take off. And Caleb Williams does exactly that right here. Steps up, avoids, and next thing you know, he's being able to get easy yards because it's against man coverage. You'll be able to see it even easier here from the end zone copy. Send in a little bit of pressure with a twist right there. That wasn't a blitz at all because that linebacker peeled off because he's in man coverage to the running back. They just twisted the pressure there, sent four, played cover two man across the board. But like say, man defenders right here chasing their receivers. Now Caleb Williams had a lot of green grass and he's able to pick it up and make a big play for like a gain of 20. These are things that are going to make it a little bit difficult for defense coordinators to defend against Caleb Williams. And it's things that has Chicago Bears fans excited, and they should be. This is, a, this is a good, solid performance for Caleb Williams to come out here and kind of just do his job and able to hit some receivers down the field, not make any turnovers or, or take any unnecessary hits. But like I say, just breathe, take a step back, don't crown him, allow him to be a rookie and grow through it. You're going to see some growing pains with Caleb Williams. But Chicago has done a good job of putting some playmakers around him. It's going to be interesting to see how he shakes out going into his rookie season. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, stay humble, stay kind. Peace.